Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. AMC stock is hitting a new multi-year low today, down to $4.64 on the low side. Currently, you're down about 2.65% to $4.78 per share. It's a pretty rough day today, okay? Uh, it's 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 been rough days. But today you had your CPI report, which came out, and it was a little bit hotter than expectations. Now, we're going to take a look at what some Wall, Wall Street guys are saying about this CPI report, um, because, I mean, there, there's some good opinions, some bad opinions. The Fed is speaking, Fed Barkin, Fed um, Mester, and, 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 and those comments really don't sound good as well so it's a pretty rough day across the board iwm is down over one percent s p 500 is down about a half of one percent so we're going to get into all of this and we are also uh going to uh look at amc specifically so hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about all of this information down below in the comment section so first things first i think we have to start with the cpi report now this is a chart of where you are still seeing inflation. So food inflation, minimal. Energy is de in deflation. Core goods is gone. There's there's literally zero inflation in core goods. Uh, well, almost zero inflation. Core services, that's where you're still seeing the um, inflation, right? And most of this has to do with housing, like 90% of it has to do with housing. So that's not exactly fantastic, okay? Now it says, the guy that actually posted that chart, Warren Pies, says, CPI, quick analysis. This report changes nothing. 98% of core CPI increase came from services. 69% of that came from shelter. He says shelter starts biting hard this spring. That would be great if that happens. Fedmester says on inflation, we need to see housing and goods price pressures continue to move down, obviously. Um, so not exactly um, the most encouraging words, right? Let's take a look at what the markets are pricing in for Fed policy for 2024. We'll go ahead and give this a bit of a refresher. For March, you're still pricing in a 65% chance that the Fed cuts rates the first time. Yesterday was 67.3%. So the odds are moving down a little bit, but really not that much in regards to, you know, a hotter than expected CPI report. And what's actually very fascinating is the odds of more rate cuts are increasing today following the CPI report. The odds of six rate cuts is now 40.5%. Yesterday was 38%. And the odds of seven rate cuts is now 25.1%. Yesterday, this was 21.1%. So you're up 4% for your odds of seven rate cuts overnight following a hotter than expected CPI report. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. If, if you're trying to look at that sensibly, it doesn't say much. If anything, it says this inflation report wasn't that bad, it, which is kind of crazy. Now, core inflation month over month came in at 0.3%. That's what was on uh, you know the hot side a little bit. Core inflation rate year over year came in at 3.9%. Estimate was 3.8%. A little bit on the hot side as well. Inflation on the headline month over month, this is where things really... Um, were not so great. That came in at 0.3%. Estimate was 0.2%. And year-over-year -year inflation came in at 3.4%. Estimate was 3.2%. So definitely a little bit on the hotter side for headline as well. But again, basically all of this inflation has to do with, with housing at this point, right? And, and housing just will not go down. That's mainly because uh, it's owner's equivalent rents, which is the stupidest, craziest way that you calculate inflation in general. So it works with a huge lag, a huge lag. So we should start to get some progress there here in uh, 2024. But this is not exactly fantastic news 
in the meantime stocks recovering a little bit as of right now you can see iwm starting to kind of get a move from the bottom it wouldn't surprise me to see stocks actually rally back just considering i mean yeah this 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 was not a great report but it really doesn't tell you too much anyways we already knew inflation was hot in housing we already know that so it's not that big of a surprise in that regard it's it's interesting though what markets are doing for fed policy that's a little bit strange. Ten-year Treasury yields as well are pretty much flat on the day today, which is surprising considering, you know, you would expect ten-year Treasury yields to probably rise on a hot CPI report. That indeed is not happening. Now let's take a look at the ten and the two-year yield curve inversion. You're slowly starting to uninvert here. You're only inverted thirty-three basis points um, yesterday. Well, no, technically. Uh, Mm, yeah, technically yesterday you were inverted 33 basis points as well. Um, but last Friday on January 5th, you were inverted um, 35 basis points. So you're actually uninverting a, a little bit over the past couple of days. That tends to lead to some downside in our markets. Now, there's some signs a recession could be coming. We'll discuss that a little bit more in the next video. But yeah, I mean, this chart rising now it just shows we could be getting closer to some form of recessionary like environment which is not exactly what the markets you know like to see right um but that's obviously not a guarantee as well now specifically with amc it, it doesn't look like we're seeing um any specific news um Besides this, it says AMC class action claims company adds convenience fee at checkout. The AMC lawsuit was filed in federal court in New York. AMC Entertainments is facing a class action lawsuit over a, over a convenience fee added before consumers purchase movie tickets online. So not, not that probably shouldn't do much for AMC. Probably shouldn't hurt too much, but we'll see if we take a look at the option activity here expiring by tomorrow this upcoming friday you do have volume to the call side of 67.13 percent volume to the put side of 32.87 percent so volume to the call side definitely still winning out to the put side interesting flow sentiment on the day today you have seen five orders totaling 258 thousand dollars with a positive order value of zero percent so not too great from hedge funds and institutions and don't expect that to happen okay don't expect amc is going to do well until we get a commitment that we will not see dilution does not matter amc will not do well until that happens amc stock will continue to trade in the four dollar range will continue to go lower if we get more dilution that's just the fact and until we get a commitment to not diluting shareholders we're not going to see big money buying the stock we're not going to see that much bullish activity it's unfortunate but bright side is i think ultimately it's coming now if you look at short interest of free float 9.23 percent 113.63 million dollars worth of short positions days to cover 1.15 23.14 million shares that are currently out on loan uh, or that are sold short, 17.82 million shares that are currently out on loan, cost to borrow fees 1.07, utilization sitting at almost 31, and a short score of 54.71 out of 100. So, uh, you know, not the best numbers here, but that short interest number is starting to spike at least a little bit here on the day today. So, uh, there you have it. If we do go ahead and take a look at the stock O tracker data as well, I'm not expecting too much to happen here, right? Uh, for this week, but if you look ahead to next week, you have 1,400 calls currently in the money, 228,000 calls out the money, 91,000 puts in the money, and 47,000 puts that are out of the money. So, uh, definitely could see some activity here for next week in uh, AMC stock. And I mean, we'll see. Uh, the CPI report doesn't exactly set us up in a great spot for the next coming weeks. Um, we, we wanted to see a good CPI report. We wanted to see something that the markets could really hold on to for a while and get us a January rally. But 
That just doesn't look very likely at this point. It appears as if for the first time in a while, AMC's market cap is now under $1 billion, currently being reported at $999.72 million. Not exactly fantastic. If we take a look at sentiment, sentiment is at one. So people are very bearish for, I mean, good reasons. We need Adam Aaron to stop diluting shareholders and give us that kind of commitment. And he has not yet. So it's understandable for sure. Message volume is at 96. So it's on the extremely high side. So overall, I would say that's a net, you know, net positive, right? But, you know, in the grand scope of things, I'm just not expecting much to happen until Adam Aaron gives us that commitment. Now, a quick look at uh, Atlanta Fed GDP and what uh, we're pricing in. 2.2% GDP is the estimate for Q4, so that also looks good. We want to see the economy strong. We want to see inflation coming down. And if that happens, well, great news. IWM continuing to try to make a comeback here. AMC stock not doing a whole lot of, of anything. Down about 2.5%. In this range, it's no, man, no man's land, right? We've, we've never been this low on AMC. So uh, you could continue to fall down to the threes, in my personal opinion. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. AMC stock is severely oversold. With an RSI of 23.32. Not too many times in the past have you got more oversold than this. So you are due for a bounce. Um, and we'll see if that ultimately does happen. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you think about all of this information down below in the comment section. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one.